Alrighty, today is April 24th. I'm um, just going to give you a quick, quick tour on what's growing on around here. Stuff we didn't do, stuff we wanted to do. Um, you seen me get all that ready the other week. Burnt the holes, put the trellis up. This here is still going to be two grains of corn right here. If you look here, the trellis, you didn't see us put this up. Or we plant the peas, but the peas are actually starting to come up. You can see them. Um, then onions, we put onions back there. Today, today is uh, roughly 80 degrees. Um, Wednesday morning, this past Wednesday when I woke up, it was 23 degrees outside and there was 10 inches of snow on the ground. So, I guess you gave from winter to summer just that quick around here in Garrett County. Last weekend, you watched us put these potatoes in the ground here. There's nothing coming up in them yet. They won't for a while. This year is going to be green beans in about a month, and that will be sweet potatoes in about a month or so. And I might put some, I might put something else in that row too. I might not be all sweet potatoes. But... All right, this year's going to be tomatoes. This top row, um, half of the top one's going to be cherry tomatoes half of it's going to be sweet 100s and half of it's going to be um, sun sugars in the bottom row here half of it's going to be brandy wines red brandy wines and half of it's going to be almond paste the cherry tomatoes will sell at our local farmers market and the big tomatoes will probably make paste and sauce out of if you remember right I put um, asparagus in it this past fall and uh, a few weeks ago, I put peas in it just for a cover crop until the, till the asparagus comes up. You know, keep some of the weeds out. The weeds are starting to come through pretty good. There's a lot of yarrow and whatnot growing in there, which I probably won't. I probably won't pull it out or nothing. I'll let it go. And I put some elderberries in there this past fall too, if you remember correctly. This year's gonna be it's gonna be raspberries. I hadn't got them planted yet, but that's what's gonna be there. Um, I need to dig them up from back behind the house and bring them down here, but it's. Every time it gets nice, I got other stuff I got to do, so that's kind of on the back burner for now. We did get a couple loads of wood chips. We're gonna get another. We're gonna get one more load, and that's gonna cover cover these uh, raspberries up. And I'm gonna put some of those down there where I planted all them trees out the other week that you saw me. So that pretty much covers this side of the road. We're gonna cross the road and go go over what we got going on over there too. All right. So this bit here, Tom, um, you didn't watch us, but I put peas and beets in this bed. I got five rows of beets. Sorry, three rows of beets 25 foot long and I got five rows of carrots 25 foot long. We watered them in good and then covered it back up so the soil wouldn't dry out as hard as it is. Right now the soil will dry out pretty quick and then we'll take a chance on the carrots not germinating. So we'll have to keep an eye on that tarp and make sure in the next week or so we should get some germination enough to pull that tarp back off. If you don't catch it just right, they'll probably get leggy on you. Um, I think this bed here is going to have uh, green corn. I can't remember what kind we got. It's red. It's red corn. We got it from uh, Haas Tools at the Homesteaders of America conference last year. I can't remember exactly what kind it is. This here is going to be green beans. And this one here is going to be more beets and carrots in this bed. Um, for the first year around. And this is spinach, half of it's spinach and half of it's onions. I was going to put lettuce on the far end, but I had some onions left over, so I'll put put them in instead. So here's our two rows of garlic. They did good. They're going good, but the cold and snow we got the other day stunned them pretty good. And we're supposed to get another cold snap this, snap this Wednesday. It's supposed to get down in the mid to upper 20s, too, so hopefully they do all right. Um, the Swiss Yard and the kales that you watch me plant, they're not doing real well. I uncovered them in the break before we got all that snow and whatnot, so hopefully hopefully they come back. They should be alright. They're pretty cold tolerant. They should be fine. This here bed will be will be sunflowers again as it was last year. That's sunflowers. This bed over here is going to be sun chokes. You recall me harvesting out of it and replanting them last year. I'm sure they're not coming up yet. It's still pretty cold. The soil's still pretty cold. So. But it's starting to warm up. But it'll be probably two or three more weeks before you start seeing them come out of the ground. This 
bet here's his parents. <laughs> Alright, this here's the asparagus patch that you've seen me cut the ferns down last fall and break them sticks off, them trees off. I need to cut them trees to the ground. Um, they'll start coming up here in another couple weeks, maybe a month. As you can see, we got a bunch of mole holes in there too. We got we got some serious mole issues this year, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully they don't eat our asparagus roots or whatnot. I don't care about that stupid tree. They can have it if they want. We also got some Egyptian walking onions in this bed. Um, that's where we got our starters for for the where I put them at down below in the fall. Um, so let's walk on down here, and I'll show you the potato patch, the other potato patch. This this potato patch here, I put the white DV potatoes in this morning. I had, I had one room for one more row so this last row right here it's uh actually got ginger root in it so the ground's still pretty cool it's gonna get cold again but it won't come out of the ground before before we're done for Austin so hopefully hopefully that ginger will be all right and I put I'm not sure how many rows of potatoes in this bed but you've seen the other week we put I think four or six rows of red potatoes on that side of the tree and I put the white ones from there up this morning so hopefully they do all right that right there is a uh, pink lady apple tree it's starting to come out and this here is a gala there's no blossoms on it yet which is great there's, there's a fair many on there but they're not open yet so which we're not done freezing yet either so hopefully hopefully it doesn't hurt it any I need to prune it I hadn't took time to do that yet but there's a bird nest in it I hate to bother the birds when they're nesting so I'll prune it back this summer sometime. I didn't get to do it in February, so anyway. So that's going to do the garden tour for what, what we got growing on right now. Um, I'm going to do another tour that you'll see in a few more days of the nursery, we, which we did open yesterday. was our opening day for this 2022 season. So um, if you like it, please like it. If, you, if you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not, please do so. Um, Click here for subscribe and watch this video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. Till we meet again, take care and God bless.